cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Dunkarumpa V3 Killing Harmony. So, someone is dead, and I feel, it's, it's, it, well, obviously it's either Kaito or Kokichi, and I strongly feel that Kaito is alive. If Kaito is alive, there is a higher chance of him being the killer in my mind. Um, so I'm trying to think uh, specifically what what happened. There's there's a couple of ways this went down in my head. So first of all, only let's let's go under the assumption that only two people knew how to assemble and disassemble the crossbow. We can make it three if we count Shuichi, but I'm just gonna we're eliminating Shuichi because I don't think they're gonna pull the same thing they did with Kaede. So there's only two people who could do it. Maki and Kaito are the only ones who could have set up that crossbow. Um, it's possible that one of them could have set it up and then Kokichi could have stolen it and used it. But I'm also, I strongly feel that, that Kokichi is not going to be a killer. At least he will not be somebody who pulls the active trigger on killing someone. Someone else may pull the trigger because of what he's done, but it wasn't because he did it. He, he doesn't do that. He's not going to be the one with the blood on his hands. Because he's going to win this killing game. No, um... So, if, if I follow that line of logic, I am, I'm thinking that Kokichi is dead, Kaito is the killer, and it, so I, what I don't get is like, why did Himiko have the bag? So either that bag was the bag that was used in this kill, or... Or, I don't know. I don't get it. I, I imagine Himiko's gonna have to explain herself on this one. Like, what was in the bag? Who told her to bring the bag there? Did she bring it herself? I don't think Himiko did the killing. I really don't? Question mark? I just, I, I don't see after all of her character stuff that she would have done this kill. If she did, I will be shocked. Danganronpa would have pulled the biggest wool over my eyes that it's ever done. Will be like, <laughs> will be like craziness. Anyways, um, no, I don't think, I don't think she did it, and I don't think Samugi did it. This leaves me with two people who could have done the kill: Kaito or Maki. Now, who's dead is the other question, because the, the person who's dead is either Kaito or Kukichi. Very simple answer in my, my head. If, if Kaito is dead, Maki did it. If Kokichi is dead, Kaito did it. And the reason why I would say that Kaito is the one that killed Kokichi and not Maki is because I believe that... I, well, I know Maki did something. She did something that night. I believe she was going to kill Kokichi. I, I fully believe she went down there with the intent to kill Kokichi. We would have come in there. We would have found Kokichi's dead body. And, you know, whatever. She was the one who did. Like, she, she, was the, she would have been the one guilty as all get out. So, my only thinking is, is that perhaps she did something to try and kill... Kokichi and it hit it hit Kaito instead because I, I think Kaito knows that he was on borrowed time which is why he was talking to Shuichi like that that the night before I think Kaito knew that he was going to die so I think he killed Kokichi to keep maybe Maki from killing him maybe he was concerned that Maki was going to to, to kill him and so Oh, no, maybe, okay, this is crazy. Maybe this is exactly what happened, but I wouldn't know 
why this would have went down, okay? Maybe Maki did successfully hit Kokichi with the poison arrows, and maybe Kaito saw that, like, Kokichi was going to die from that, and maybe he did the killing himself, and he killed... And he killed Kokichi and then used the press to, to finish him off. Maybe Kaito killed, like, did the finishing blow to, to Kokichi before, before he died from Maki. So that way he could save Maki. And then, like, maybe while he was, like, trying to clean up the, the crime. Maybe, he, maybe when we came in there and he was, he was cleaning up the crime of what happened... He saw us, and that's when he told us, you know, th that maybe that's why he talked to us like that. I bet that's it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 I just thought of it. That's, that's probably what happened. Okay, so Maki tried to kill K Kokichi. Failed. And then Kaito, Kaito finished Kokichi off. But then the question remains, does like... Does Maki know that Kaito's alive? Maybe Maki knows that Kaito's alive? And maybe she wants to be convicted as the killer. Maybe she wants to be convicted as the killer because she knows that Kaito did it, but by acting the way that she is, maybe by acting the way she is, she thinks that, that it's going to like get her, get her, Maybe she knows- <gasps> No, she wants- She probably doesn't even care if we pick Kokichi as the killer or- Or herself. She just doesn't want us to figure out that Kaito's the one who did it. Because we'll, that will save Kaito. If we assume that either she or Kokichi is the one who did it, then- 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 Then Kaito gets out. Which is why she probably took that knife- Slashed up the console. That's why she left her hammer over there. She, I, I was thinking this entire time I was pacing around this house. I was like, why would she leave such obvious clues that she was the one who did it? It's obvious. She Okay, so she knows that Kaito's alive. That's why she's not even concerned about the situation. She knows that Kaito's alive. I figured it out. Oh my god, I figured it out. This is the truth. I'm positive. I'm going in. I, oh my god, I thought this all through. I got it. Ah! <laughs> oh, but this is going to be so sad when we get to Kaito. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, Kaito and Kokichi are here. That's the point. I bet Kokichi is already there. You bastard. It's the mastermind of the killing game. He's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito is alive. Are you going to die? Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. Well... This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I'll... Then I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair? You don't know? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Th that's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is, the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? Just leave it to me! <laughs> That's what he say. Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. It was Kaito. Wait. I know you Shuichi. didn't do it. Shuichi, I understand you don't want to believe it, but Kaito's not here anymore. Shut up. He's alive. <laughs> I've already I deduced it. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll be on my guard the whole time. Hi. I'm filled with the combined power of hope and magic right now. You bastard. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Let's go. No matter what Kokichi is scheming, there's no way we can lose. After all, we're the hope. After all, we're the students of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, listen to you. 
You don't have to worry. Kokichi is dead. He is frickin' dead. But the thing that I don't get is, and, and again, this is part of me putting, like, my faith in Kokichi in a way that you guys just, you don't understand how much faith I have in, in Kokichi. He, if he's dead, he died because he wanted to die. He, he planned everything. He was hoping to die. That's why he did everything. And if he wanted to die, then there, there had to be a reason why he went through this, this whole thing. The thing that the thing that I'm trying to figure out is is the reason why is the reason why we can't find is the reason why we can't find Kaito the reason why like his coat was under that press and we can't lift that press to check the body and and Kokichi's clothes flush down the toilet is that all because maybe like Maki was trying to hide all of that is that why that was done <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! So, wait a minute. Maybe... Maybe Himiko didn't get caught going to the the lab? Maybe that was that was Maki dressed up that, like that? Maybe Maki was the one who entered with the bag like that. Himiko wouldn't even know what to do with that bag unless she was told. Oh, I bet it was Maki who went there. Oh, I bet. Oh my god, it makes so much more sense when I think about it this way. Was that whole thing where Maki explained, like, her disguising, was that was that part of, like, the the workout sessions that she explained that? Or, or was that because of hanging out with her? I feel like that was... That wasn't an optional scene, was it? It was, like, a mandatory one? I don't even remember if it was mandatory now. If it was a mandatory cutscene that we had to see that... She was able to disguise herself and got caught at a cosplay event or whatever. That I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and assume that she she might have done the same here. Oh my god. Everything is making so much more sense now. Oh, I feel so much better. Jesus, there's like none of us here. We have lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. Somehow, despite that despair, we have found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? It's going to be really embarrassing if I'm wrong about everything that I've just said. If I'm wrong about everything I just said, I apologize for being such an idiot and pretending like I know. Oh my god, I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> as those thoughts pierced my mind, I s <clears throat> As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. That's nice! Ah, a battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. <laughs> Only esteemed, <laughs> only esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Why? Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but we'll never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death had a dash of lies and truth. Bake in the fires of conflict. And when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial.
Once more, we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Oh, he's purple. I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I'll fight. I'll fight this trial of truth and lies. Voyage without passion or purpose. Unified against the mastermind, Kokichi, the students must survive. A class trial without knowing the murderer or the victim. You know what's strange? I didn't get a chance to hang out fully with Maki. That's... That's kind of... Bizarre. That's unusual. The other times I was always able to. An unpredictable trial begins. Um... Let's go. Class trial in session. Ahem. Now, blah blah blah. The trial, you'll blah blah blah. Correctly, and I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live, and we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An Actual talking robot. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> what? Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Ah, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Cause for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances. This class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. <laughs> okay. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry, the person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. No. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. No, it's not, and you know it. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Okay. So I need to just bring doubt. Kokichi's clothes, that's probably it. Killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! We lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast your by spells. There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or survivor. Is Kazing the spell that revives people in Dragon Quest? I don't remember now. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has to be Kaito. Uh, okay. 
Is it this? Aha! Okay. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes. And look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. Why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought... She'd want to believe Kaito is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Okay, so... I mean, I still believe that she actually knows that Kaito's alive, and that's why she's doing this whole thing. Maybe not? Maybe she just doesn't want to... She doesn't want to be... Like, this is her way of, of handling it, is just, like, believing that he's dead so that way she doesn't hold out any sort of hope on it? I don't get it. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Hmm? What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. Uh... Sleeve on the jacket? That's it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? Doesn't he always leave that arm, like, hidden? <clears throat> I mean, doesn't he always leave that, that arm hanging off? Specifically? But th that does go back to my theory that possibly Maki set this up so that way we would think that Kaito had, had died that way. And she might have just, like, punctured a hole in, in his shirt. To make it look look like... If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve... No, he doesn't wear... He doesn't wear it like that. You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Like, I agree with Maki on that point of, uh... Swipe, blood stain on the, the bathroom. The sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. I don't know what to refute this if with. You can't see that. Then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? She's he right. He dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms to his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If She's you right. to be quiet already. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that it's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito is dead on that he evidence. Yeah, but like, I don't, I don't get what, what's. Oh, there's blood on that hole. Oh, 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 okay. In a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeve. That's right. Cut through your work. There's a blood on it. Oh my god, I'm glad it has that picture because I didn't even think about that blood. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Oh, so this was the left one? Oh, so he was laying on his back. 
for some reason I thought he was like laying on his face, probably because the sleeve was hanging out, so I instantly thought he was like laying on his stomach. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the It was Leslie? <laughs> I don't know how I would have known that. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, <laughs> that's oddly strange, isn't it? Oh no. I didn't know it was the left. <laughs> then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. No, there has to be one. There's blood on it. It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. No, there's blood on it. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Baki, what's really going on? Seems like you've already made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! It was in the exile. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an excess all and kind of dozed off. That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? She acts like she she didn't know. She didn't know. Oh crap! My theory is wrong. Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! What? <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kikichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. One of them has to be canned. One of them has to be fake. One of their voices is fake. Oh crap. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself! Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera! It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. W what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. It, it, he hasn't spoken as if to respond us directly. Uh, I don't know. Hey, Monokuma! Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! I don't... Is it really Kokichi? Dang it! I'm so wrong. Oh my god. Huh? 
Kaito? This is terrible. Why would something like this? I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. Oh my god. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Oh my god. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer! No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy! See? If it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible! Which means this footage is 100% real! If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Oh my god. Is it... Is it possible that, like, it recorded the hydraulic press going all the way down and then... And then, and then, like... But, I, like, how, okay, so if only the play, record, and pause buttons can work, maybe, like, it was recorded up to the point that Kaito was going to be squashed by it, and then, like, they paused it, and then swapped it to Kokichi's body underneath, and then, but I don't think that happened, oh my freaking lord. Are you telling me this is really Kaito died? Was that... Is that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. Was it really... Was it really Kaito's body? Was it really... Let me... I want, I want to see the picture. I want to see the picture. Give me the freaking picture. I need. I want to zoom in. Is that really him? Like for real? Oh my god! Died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. It's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my bark over to you. I know it's a joke. But the thought of it... Why? Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He just told us that he was the mastermind and the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. What? It wouldn't be that simple, would it? Because that is the most logical step. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. No, you're not! No, you're not! I'm getting mad again! Oh my god, what is going on? I thought I understood this trial, and now I'm, I'm, like, completely confused. Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof, so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But... <laughs> I totally spaced out. 
I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? This is such BS. Such B freaking S. You didn't do it. Oh my god. He didn't do it. And Kaito's dead. Then it can only be Maki. Are we really killing off both Kaito and Maki in this? Is that really what this is going to come down to? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? They wouldn't get tired of it. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? <sighs> are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? Yeah. What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves. So I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. God, Himiko is like my voice box. It's fine. Because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just gonna leave it at that? Oh, God. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi, then. Um, the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kaito... Or, Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Okay, I, so I guess I need to explain that, that he died right? beforehand. Kaito got crushed to death. Wait, okay, so it's not... Okay, it's not crushed to death. Because he couldn't be crushed to death. He had to have already been dead. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function? Yes. It was written on the safety precautions. 
The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and the Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro... What? No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the what murder. What a lame response out of you. Maki, did you even look at the murder scene? What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Wait. Uh... Kaito's clothes? Kaito's coat. What? Uh, the dragged blood? Swiped patterned blood stain? This is it! Okay, it's the same thing! Don't. There was a swipe patterned blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, We'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. Okay, so now his coat. There! Okay. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. Okay, why are you doing this? I hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. Oh, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve. Where the three arrows? The arrows in the bathroom. Damn oh, jeez. Are you really making me say... The arrow is the same thing. The crossbow. This is it. It's the same thing. The arrow is the I thing that hits him. was the crossbow mm. found in the bathroom. <laughs> crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. Oh. So that is isn't a canned response. Kaito's freaking dead? Oh my god! I, this entire time I was waiting for him to say something to the response of someone else. And he just did. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. 
Well, I already know. But I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot won't need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaichi. That's wrong! I don't even need to read what the rest you're about to say is. It's not important. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. <laughs> Only the ultimate assassin could have pulled this off because I have no idea how she would have been able to see and shoot that and, and hit Kokichi. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. That's not it at all. I wasn't suspicious of Kaito at all, to be honest. I was suspicious of Gonta. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? I had I knew we were going there, but I I thought after Mew died we would stop. <laughs> See? Well, that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. We never knew about It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. <laughs> okay, we can mark Himiko off this list. She's a terrible liar. <laughs> well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious if you went to the hangar last night. Okay! Then the culprit is Himiko! Wait! Don't say it's me! Maki is more suspicious than I am! What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted! Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprit! Why am 
I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I am the culprit! Okay, I'm gonna watch Himiko's because I believe it's gonna be hers. She's the large black case. That's definitely gonna be it. Unless it's Kibo's account. No, it's gonna be Kokichi's. Kibo's account. Then who acts the number one suspect? No, 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 no! That's it, that's it! You lying. I heard it. You lying little mage. <laughs> you said that you went to the hangar empty handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? Oh my god, I can't believe I was so far off. <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen now. Ah. Oh. So. Maybe, maybe Maki was trying to kill Kokichi and it ended up killing Kaito? And Kokichi's just effing with us all? I don't know. What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But I don't know why she brought the crossbow Kibo, there. He said you were headed toward the hangar carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Uh, no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. She really did Hold carry on. it. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! The truth! Please believe me! Just tell me why! Tell me, like... You piece of shit. T tell me, Himiko. Not you. If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying. That is true. Can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Explain to me why you did it. This is confusing. Crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good at with it. <clears throat> yeah, because she couldn't put it together, right? <clears throat> Can you have done this? That's the question. I'm guessing it's the. What is the crossbow? Uh, okay, so yes, only this is the. This is the answer. There we go. Okay. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? Teach me that, right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about 
If you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you. It's just like I said. But so why'd you bring it there? to apologize right now! No, explain to me why you brought it there. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? Answer Kibo's question. I was asked to. By who? Asked to. Perhaps the person who asked was... Kaito? That's it! Okay, good. Because... Was it... Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Kaito knew because about Kaito it. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Well, maybe you would have listened to him if you put, like, some sort of threat. Because I know you like me. Not off. I hate you. But I like you. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. Oh my gosh. But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito was trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. And then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Uh... Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar. And that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. And then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was a... Uh... You know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? Did he ask for the poison? No. He said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. Where did that poison come from, though? That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Three arrows? Uh, is it three arrows or... What of shows that Kaito shot Kokichi's clothes? This is it! Okay. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? Then it was Kaito who shot him, right? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? 
There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely, but why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. <sighs> in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. Yeah, Monokuma does like does like his mysteries. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. Monokuma, you is, is this this must be this must be like this must be being shown to someone that we're doing all these things. I can I can only assume that either either it's true we're no longer we we're on like some sort of like like secluded place where nobody can get to us or something like that and and like people were supposed to watch us survive as hope like in in the first Dongarampa or like something like this is He's doing this for reasons. Because at first I thought like it was a very like a, a fourth wall breaking thing. But he's brought it up so many times it doesn't even feel like the fourth wall anymore. It feels more like this is like a some something. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that exosol? Stuff like that. I mean, it's been Kokichi talking to us. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. <sighs> but we did hear Kaito's voice at the beginning. Was that canned or is there like some sort of speech modifier in there? And if it's some sort of speech modifier, why would Kaito be toying with us if that's if that's Kaito? That seems more like a Kokichi thing than a Kaito thing. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier. But why would Kaito behave like this? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys. The luminary of the stars has arrived. This time for real. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know where am I? Is this real life? Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? I don't know. Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Oh my god, my brain. Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know up from 
down, from left, from right. I don't know if this is... Whoever's in that Exosol is the greatest liar that has ever lived. The greatest liar. Is this canned? Is, is that really, like, is that... I could believe that Kokichi could pull off a pretty convincing Kaito. It's not that hard. Anything that Kaito just said right now would have been easy. But like, would Kaito really go around lying the way Kokichi is? And if he did, for to what end? For what purpose? What would all this be? What would all of this be? Kaito was alive after all. No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with K Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is... Uh... Is there really a... Oh... So the evidence we have now shows that Kaito is the victim. Hmm, what's the matter, Shuichi? You gotta say it with confidence. I can't look away from the truth. Okay. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Juichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. <sighs> For a second, I really wanted to believe. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its Okay, yes, yes, we're gonna do that thing we do before. that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Look! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kikichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Look! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. That's Why not it. So opposed to... I got this! Because uh, the evidence doesn't support the claim Both of them had the word alive. alive and mastermind and I got I them mixed up. Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. This is all it is. Damn it. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence... The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. <sighs> what a 
sick joke. You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So, if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! Great. Three arrows. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi, too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. Damn it! Three. Wait, Miko. What do you mean, one arrow? Kaito one arrow, so... What? What? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! Well then, that's strange, because... No, oh, there's three! three arrows in the back room, remember? at the scene, but Himiko said that she only brought one. What is going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden ways. For what purpose? If he didn't bring a crossbow, then why would he need to have extra arrows? Unless he really thinks stuff ahead of time, which would be impressive. Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? That's what I'm saying. But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. <sighs> so we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. And where did those arrows come from? I don't think Himako is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? have happened. Think. I need to think. I don't even understand what is going on right now. How many arrows did Himiko give to Kaito? One. Unless she's lying. One. Where is these questions gonna go? Hit him, Monokuma! Were all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? No? Why would Kokichi... I'm gonna go with no. If it's yes, I am surprised. I'm going with no. I'm going with no. This is 50-50. No. Oh, okay! So, what happened? Wait, maybe maybe Maki used 
one, like, from, but, but she returned hers. Like, maybe Maki returned hers, but didn't. Who brought the two arrows? Kokichi? Kokichi? Maki? Kokichi? A third party. Third party. <gasps> okay, so it was Maki. Oh my god. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. Uh... If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaizo was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way. Some way we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Exosol? This is the easiest hangman's gambit they've done yet. Exosol. Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But we haven't even reached the halfway point here. We haven't reached the halfway point yet. So... If we assume that Maki did, like, get in there, shoot Kokichi with those arrows. Oh, I bet, I bet those antidotes? Maybe, maybe Kokichi knew that, that he was going to, maybe he knew he was going to get shot by Maki with poison. Maybe? Maybe he knew that, and then, like, he had prepared himself, like, an antidote? I don't know. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an exosol. I saw an exosol into the hangar last night. So is this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. Be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know. So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Does it be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away? Sounds like Shuriki said a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar. But can just anyone pilot an exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy! If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples too! Idiot. 
Anyway, this third party commandeered an Exosaur and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Aki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Did she already try to do it and fail? <sighs> used electro hammer. So she did it and failed? They could have used it to enter the hammer. That's not possible. He's operating the Ethisol? Really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Ethisol? Oops. Outside the hangar, but... There are four Exosphorids. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. The Electro Hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. That's wrong! Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and Exosols. Maki, were you saying all these things to make us think that you're the culprit? Are you actually the culprit or, like, what? I don't understand. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party. The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. There's only one person who didn't have theirs. This morning when we were trying to get to the hangar, there were three. Culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. Yeah, but this is gonna be wrong. We haven't hit our intermission yet. It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it will run out of juice with just one shot, got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon. So it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Aki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. Knife, well, I suppose you know best. Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You got a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab. 
disabled the Exosoft with an electro hammer and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. I'll Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! Use the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. You're okay. right. I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Is it the poison? The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's poison. Poison. Okay, it's a poison. It's a poison. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. It's poison. The poison. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poison. Poison. I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. But this... <sighs> there was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? If, if she actually went in there and shot... Kokichi, though, then there has to be Kaito in there. Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? Because she wouldn't have shot Ko uh, Kaito. There's no way she is. Right? Why would she kill Kaito? She would never. <laughs> I can't understand if you don't explain anything. Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... All of us? That's it! She's willing to sacrifice all of us? She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. I thought the- like, I realized that we were all going to die, but I thought she was going to save- I thought her reasoning was that she was going to actually save Kaito. I didn't realize that she had accidentally killed Kaito or for whatever, and now she's after trying to- to, to get get Kokichi Sacrifice us? then by hiding the truth Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit she knew what happened and tried to hide it from us but that mischievous plan was ruined all thanks to Shuichi here too bad Maki I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? 
Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So, Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Yeah, seriously, I thought you were trying to sacrifice us all for Kaito. Which, you know, still messed up. Still messed up, but that would have been way better than just going after revenge. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? <sighs> you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating things. You're ruining the mood. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either.